The first question that you ever get, anything about an all-inclusive trip is, is it actually all-inclusive? Well, we're going to talk about that and so much more. Let's go off the books. Hey, what's up, bookworms and vacationers? Mike here. I do a little off the books today. We're going to be talking about something a little different. Obviously, that's what is the off the books dictates. This is the first time finding the channel because you're curious about Sandals Montego Bay. Uh, I am not a travel vlogger, guys. I'm elephant in the room here. Uh, I, I know there's going to be lots of channels out here who specialize in this. They're going to do that much better than me. I just kind of want to talk about my trip. And a lot of people have uh, questions about it, and I kind of want to help answer them by someone that they obviously know is not sponsored uh, by uh, Sandals or any of these resorts or anything like that. Uh, this is just something that uh, me and my wife decided to do for our 10th wedding anniversary and we wanted to kind of just uh, spread the love of how great we think Sandals is and tell you guys why we think that. Now our history here is we went to Sandals for our honeymoon. We went to the Royal, Royal Bahamian in, uh, the, in the Nassau location and when we went there, we had just obviously paid for a wedding. We had just bought a house. So we were kind of pinching pennies on the honeymoon. Now, uh, it's, it's, it's never cheap to do these things. But when we went to the Bahamas, not only was it the most affordable, but we went like the bottom room, the lowest room that you'd get, which was still really nice because you walked 10 feet and you had this beautiful, gorgeous, white sand, crystal blue ocean beach, you know, right in front of you. You, you didn't really care. But while we were there, we said, you know what? Let's do this again in our 10th wedding anniversary. Spare no excuse spits, get the room that we want, go to a different location and see how we like it. And that bore Sandals Montego Bay in 2020. Oh, wait, we had to cancel the year. We had to wait a year because of the virus that shall not be named. Now, guys, I don't know if you're actually allowed to say the actual name of the virus that shall not be named yet. I don't know if our YouTube overlords are allowing that yet. But at this point, it's just kind of something that we've went to on the channel. So I'm going to stick with it. So what well, I'm going to talk about this video, I'm going to talk about uh, our, our, the travel to get there, what that was like under the virus that shall not be named. I'm going to talk about Club Mo Bay, which a lot of people don't know about, but if they do, they have lots of questions about is it worth it. And then, of course, overall impressions of the uh, the resort, you know, what was the food like? What was just the day to day kind of like? And we are going to cover all of that. I'm going to start with the travel section here. It's easier to travel from the states, guys. And you may have heard, you know, if you you watch the news, you make it sound like it's just it's awful, it's so awful. You just want to, you know, just stay home. Um, no, uh, it's actually quite simple. Uh, we had to get a virus that shall not be named test prove that you were negative and guys it's basically the, the equivalent of like wiping your nose it's not it's not a bad test cvs do if you have insurance they didn't charge us anything i don't know if they're going to charge your insurance later or what but it took like 10 seconds it was over they had your results instantly uh, same with on the resort at sandals when you are going to return three days before your trip they will do your virus that shall not be named test for you before you can obviously because you can't get on the plane without it and again painless, no big deal. It's just a minor inconvenience. You have to go to visitjamaica.com and get something called a travel authorization, which is basically just putting in your passport information, your trip dates. That has to be done one week before your trip, within one week of your trip. Uh, again, it was instantaneous, done. Now guys, when it comes to air travel, that's always going to be a nightmare. I don't care where you're from. <laughs> it's always going to be bad. The best you can hope for uh, with air travel is just that it's not miserable the entire time. It's probably going to be, but I just wanted to kind of clarify that a lot of people have made it sound like it's just so bad to travel right now because of the virus that shall not be named, but it, it was fine. It was no big deal. Everything else after that, guys, it's just what you usually have for an international flight. Bring your passport. Uh, they are really big still about face coverings. At the airport, face covering 100% of the time when you walk in the door until you walk out the door at the new airport you cannot take it off on the plane you cannot take basically they'll tell you you can take it off to take a bite of your peanuts on your plane that's about it uh, but other than that yes they are still very much on the face coverings there so you still have to do that but when we got there we use a little thing called Club Mobay which I will link to in the description Club Mobay is basically if you have a, a, a layover at your airport or say you get there you don't know what to do. You don't know how to go through immigration. You don't have to go customs, all that. You'll have someone waiting there. Here's what it is. It's, uh, it's $80 per person round trip if you want to do it for arrival and departure. You only have to do one. You know, and you get like a lounge at the end of it. That's that's the thing. You get a lounge where your drinks and your food and stuff are paid for already. Uh, they appreciate if you tip, obviously. But uh, again, I think it's worth it for one reason. 
we got through customs super fast when we got to Jamaica with them. Got there, had a lady holding up a sign with our names on it, just like we're in like some 1980s movie. It was great. Uh, she was very friendly. She got us. She basically skipped us straight to the front of the line. Uh, they have like a thing called fast track. So we got there on a Wednesday, so it wasn't madness in the airport like it would be if you're traveling on like a Saturday or Sunday. It's probably gonna be a lot more busy, but it, but still. Uh, she took us right past everything, and we really were in and out of customs in 10 minutes. And then you go into the lounge. If you have a wait until the shuttle, see, Sandals shuttles pick up like every 15 minutes from the airport. So it really wasn't much of a wait there. Now, on departure, it was because Sandals has to get you at the airport three hours before your flight because in case customs is long you know they have to do that it's just it's just standard how they have to do it so yeah that did for departure i absolutely recommend it 50 bucks per person it's worth it because you get you get your mixed drinks if you want you get breakfast you get lunch whatever whatever you need you get a really nice lounge you're not inside the hustle and bustle of a really really crazy rather small airplane or uh, sorry airport in Montego Bay. So I really recommend it for the for the way back. Absolutely. On the way there, if you feel like you're kind of iffy about how to get through customs or you're afraid there might be a line or something, I'd say recommend it. it to me, guys, at this point, you're already paying so much for this vacation. Uh, say there's two of you, what's another $160? You know, I say just do it, just go for it. That's my opinion, but uh, yeah, I had nothing but a good experience with them. And uh, if they have something like that, wherever we go next, we will definitely use it because, uh, like I said, on the way back, it was fantastic to not have to sit because that airport was packed on the way back and it would not have been comfortable. Um, I think that's really about it. Everything else with uh, with uh, the virus is uh, just making sure that uh, they have hand sanitizer. Like when you get to Jamaica, there are people who are like spraying hand sanitizer on your hands like about every 30 feet. So uh, I actually kind of grew to like it by the end. I was using so much hand sanitizer by the end. I was like, this is the, this is the best my hands have felt in decades. You know? So let's go ahead, guys, and move on to the resort itself. Now we got uh, our room, uh, it was in a level called club level. They have the three different levels, like your standard level. Then you have club level, which is kind of in the middle. It comes with the concierge service. And then you have your top level, which is butler. Now, look, guys, we, we grew up rather below the poverty line, so to speak. So we didn't want a butler. We just thought that would be really, really awkward. Um, I don't need someone coming to my room and unfolding my laundry for me. I don't need someone bringing me my drink on the beach or reserving me a cabana in a full three-piece suit when it's a uh, you know 110 humidity outside I, we would just feel bad about that sorry it's just something about the way we were raised i i would feel uncomfortable about that even they're all oh, super super nice but we would have felt totally uncomfortable so we went to the concierge service now the concierge service is great because they make all your dinner reservations for you any problem that you have they you have a direct line you don't just have to go to some random worker and be like hey can you help me out you have one person who works with you the entire trip for anything that you need whether you need the the fridge in your room restocked uh whether you think that uh you know what these pillows suck can i get better pillows no matter what guys you need something on the island they get it for you so i absolutely recommend at least the club level a little more expensive but it's worth it again you will get reservations at every restaurant at least once if you use a concierge no doubt so I I would absolutely recommend that. But that also gets you a private BMW transfer from the airport. Now, they use a shuttle, you know, and again, guys, five-minute drive from the airport to Montego Bay. It is a five-minute drive. But you know what? I'm not going to lie. The BMW, much nicer than a shuttle with, uh, you know, 35 other strangers would have been. So <laughs> I'm not going to say it was bad. It's nothing that I say, oh, you have to get it for that. But it didn't hurt. It definitely didn't hurt. But uh, you guys are here for the video and the pictures, right? So we're going to do that. Now, what I want to say, guys, is uh, I recorded that while I was there, the videos, and the sound was terrible because it was an iPhone speaker. Uh, I didn't bring any equipment with me on this trip, guys, because it was a vacation. And they, they actually, my voice sounded fine, but it was wind. It was a, The wind sounded terrible. So I'm going to do a new vo voiceover for all this video here. I just want to let you guys know this is not actually uh, how I felt when I was there, but it's not going to be that much different, guys, because we're still the arrow is still very much pointing up on how I felt about this trip. But let's go ahead and I do that now. Now, the first thing that you'll notice when you walk in here is, wow, they really want you to know where you are. But this is when the day that we arrived, uh, they pull right up to what looks almost like a embassy or something. But this is the new lobby that they've rebuilt here. And they say you check in and your room's not ready until like three or whatever. This is kind of where you'll hang out. Uh, you're allowed to obviously go wherever as long as you uh, check in first. We weren't there for longer than four minutes, guys, before they had a drink in our hand and they were showing us our rooms because we got in at about four o'clock. That's about what time our flight uh, finally got through everything. But as you can see here, guys, you're right. As soon as you walk in, I mean, there's a bar 
about every 25 feet here, so you're never going to be lacking for a drink. This is Tokyo Joe's, which is kind of like your uh, uh, stir fry kind of place. We actually did not eat there. We were we were sitting there waiting in one night, and we just realized we were full, and we didn't go. But obviously, here is your main attraction. This is the very long beach that they have here. Uh, when I recorded this, actually, it had just stormed a little bit, so we were a bit overcast. So you couldn't really get a good look at how beautiful the ocean is. But this is one of those things you got to see for yourselves. This is kind of the main eating hub, I guess you say. You got a bay, a bay side there on the right. Up top, that's Cucina Romana. Uh, below is Oleander. Uh, Cucina Romana is a Italian place. Very, very good. But as you can see, entertainment pretty much everywhere. Mega Connect Four, uh, Super Jenga. We played both, so uh, you know, no shame in admitting that. But it's uh, if it's not really super humid, it's really, really nice. I think these really big fans. It feels great out here. Right there, you can go and get you some actual homegrown Jamaican coffee without having to go in anywhere and order anything. It's always available. Uh, right here is obviously Bayside. That is pretty much the only buffet-style place they have there, but they also have regular lunch as well. Over here to the right is Cafe de Paris, which is a place we went to every single day. And I'll talk about it a little more when I get into the food section here. But here is the main pool and the cabanas or whatever. Over there to the left, you can get down onto the beach. We didn't spend a lot of time in the main pool because we had a swim-up pool by our room. But yes, here you go down to the beach. This is kind of going to be your aqua center where you want to, if you want to rent like a boat or take a you know, scuba trip or anything like that. Uh, the thing about scuba here, guys, is it's, it is free, but you do have to be certified. Now, they do the training for the uh, certifications here but if you're already certified you do not have to pay for that train i think it's about 80 bucks a person we weren't going scuba diving so i wasn't worried about it but if you are already certified basically if you've been the last year you don't have to do it again it is completely included with the trip and again you are here for the beach and guys the beach is here it is all you need there's your fire pitch you have lit up at night uh, over there is dino's and the mariner uh, dino's is a very good pizza place uh, mariner is uh, just if you want like a burger and fries uh, nothing really to complain about there. Again, another bar on your right because they don't want you to get thirsty while you are here at all. And it's not going to happen. Like I said, when I recorded this, it was the morning right after a storm. So it might look like you see they freshly raked the sand. Yes, they have hand sanitizer everywhere, guys. And uh, like I said, that's about the only virus that shall not be named uh, kind of restriction they have on the resorts. They do want you to sanitize your hands a lot, which isn't really a problem especially when coming up off the sand on the right there. That's where Stew Fish is a reservation only kind of place. Uh, we ate there on, I think the second night and the view was absolutely stunning. Yes, setting up all the entertainment and games. Uh, there was a little water, residual water there from the basketball court. But thing is guys, it, it will storm. It is, it is an island out there in the middle of the ocean. It's gonna storm some, but they recover so quick. I mean, the drainage is, is immediate. And like I said, they have people out there taking care and doing maintenance on the sand all the time to make sure that everything is looking good. You don't have to worry about a simple rainstorm like ruining a day here. It really, it ruins about an hour. And, uh, you know, most people are taking a, it, it seemed like that most of them happened in the afternoon and everybody was kind of taking naps. Then some people take a nap right there. Can you blame them? I mean, look at that. But uh, there was one morning where uh, I couldn't sleep and I read like an entire book and one of those little globe things right there. Not an entire book, but I read most of a Dark Tower book. It was a, a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, out there where they do the Red Lane Spa uh, treatments out there. There are some people, like, say you get sunburn, they have like emergency sunburn treatment uh, with Red Lane Spa so your vacation doesn't feel ruined. Lots of games and entertainment for you to do out here on the beach, obviously, but most people stick to the water part of it or the sunbathing part of it. Uh, some people play the giant chess over there. Uh, I, I would love to learn how to play chess. Uh, that would be the best way, I think, to do it, because that would be like wizard chess and Harry Potter or something. But uh, no, m my wife nor I know how to play chess. Out there is all of your flags. And of course, of course, we're going to walk out on that, because how can you not walk out on that? But again, guys, yes, the beachfront, these rooms right here are uh, actually kind of affordable. They have those three swim-up rooms. They have those swim-up rooms on, on the beachfront. The swim-up rooms that we have, which are kind of further in the back, and they have constant air service, and then you uh, are concierge, not constantly area. <laughs> I watched Godfather recently. And then you've got uh, your butler swim up rooms on the far end, which I'll show you here in a little bit. But yes, right here is just kind of the main drag where people kind of hang out because you have your bars, you have the really cool emboss on the 
sidewalks. What's really cool about this concrete is you can walk on it barefoot in the middle of the sun. It's not hot. I don't know what they do, but somehow their concrete does not get hot and you can walk on it barefoot. It's amazing because uh, I'm in Houston and when it's hot outside, you do not dare walk outside in, in bare feet. This is the jerk shack where you can get some uh, Jamaican style chicken. Very good. Uh, like I said, the pork's good, the sausage's good, but the chicken is just next level. Uh, Whirlpool hot tub. We got in that just about every dang night. Uh, it really helps you kind of loosen up the bones a little bit if you're if you're kind of uh, pushing your 40s like we are here. But this is a piano bar and of course another pool. This one actually kind of connects. I don't want to call it really a lazy river as much as there's just like a little wrap around. And on these these uh, things here, they let people carve in their uh, their initials and their name, like you know blank plus blank forever stuff like that i think that's really cool if they let people do that we didn't do that because we uh we probably won't be coming back to this location because there are so many different sandals that we'd like to try a different one each time so we didn't try to find an, an empty brick but yes uh where our room is you go over one bridge and you are at a bar and that is obviously a great great attraction but uh yeah this area is usually uh pretty full obviously uh, during the day when it's uh, bright and sunny out, but let's kind of walk back to the villas here where it is a uh, amazing landscape And they always have people work on this landscaping always sweeping up stuff But it never gets to the point where you feel like okay I wish these people would get out of my way. It's very peaceful back here If you want to get away from that's the thing about where our room is located It's like guys if you want entertainment, it's there you can go down to the beach. It is loud. It is rowdy. It is a party atmosphere. You get back here, you you wouldn't even know if you weren't looking for it because the way the island is spaced out, there's not very much noise in these back rooms. So if you do want to relax one another, there's nothing you can do about the airplanes, which I'll talk about in a little while. Nothing you can do about the airplanes, but if you want to just get away from the noise on the beach, uh, it is easy to do here. Uh, and the other thing I think about the cats, there are cats all over this resort. And it's not like you think like, oh, it's a bunch of dirty, mangy strays. No, they actually like they actually uh, keep up with them. They feed them, and they, uh, they they keep up with their vaccination stuff like that. Obviously, they can't be gapping and give the guest rabies or nothing. But I, we think that they do it because they control rodents. You know, they will actually get rid of rats. We noticed when we were in the Bahamas, there was a few cats, but there is uh, I, I say we saw at least a dozen out here at this place. Lots of cats. So um, if that bothers you, I mean, I want to bring it up. I mean, we thought it was adorable really because they were all super sweet i mean you think about it if you were going to be a a, a homeless cat because i want to stray astray but you want to be a homeless cat i think being an island cat is the way to go but this are the uh, swim up rooms that we stayed in back here towards the back and yes they keep it nice and clean they're doing the cleanings in the middle of the night and pretty much uh keep them during the day to where they can keep the, uh, the cleaning gear out of the pool over there on my right is a little croquet area they also had like a wedding reception over there so, uh, interesting thing, there's a fitness room over there on the right. If you curve around here to the left, this comes to, into our, uh, our swim-up rooms. Now, I am not going to lie, guys. This is the reason that we booked at Montego Bay, is because we saw these rooms. Now, they do have these rooms at other resorts now, but at the time, it was like a Montego Bay thing. And that's what really attracted us to this resort. We bought this room for or this resort. We brought this trip for this room. And so I'm going to take you in a walkthrough of this room now. So if you want to know what these rooms are like, this is the uh, club level, not the butler, not the uh, not the, the beachfront. This is the club level. Let's show you, show you the bathroom here first. A nice, big, spacious sink. So if you uh, if you are traveling with your significant other, uh, there's plenty of room for both of you. Humongous shower. I mean, it is massive. Look at that. You have a party in there if you're your kind of thing. There is one bad thing, though. That right there. Those don't close, so you hear a lot of noise out of those. So you want to keep your bathroom closed. Also, guys, there's no exhaust in the bathroom, so you're in a, uh, 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 <laughs> you're in a place traveling with someone and you're eating a lot of exotic foods. I'm going to leave it there. I don't know if there's a, and, and look at this. The bathroom door, it doesn't close all the way. I don't know if that's a, a design flaw or they designed it this way. I don't really know what the decision was there, but it's really, really weird. Uh, but again, the room itself is nothing that you haven't seen before uh you got your ceiling fan control uh it's pretty much everything you get in a regular hotel room you got cable uh no uh no connection with like netflix or anything like that, that was really weird that it, I, I thought most of these places had at least where you could do like netflix from the tv or something now at the club level you get a fully stocked bar and they do replenish it for you uh there's coke there's beer there's uh juice there's all sorts of liquor 
uh, water. Obviously, water is important. It's important to stay hydrated on this trip. But yeah, uh, anything that you're you're really looking for, they will take care of you. We had a bottle of champagne the first night to celebrate our 10 years together or 10 years married. So uh, that's why the champagne there is missing. It's right there. There it is. Yeah, we knocked that out the first night in the tranquility soaking tub that I will show you here in a second outside. But yeah, very nice bar and a very very decent uh, selection of liquor. I was expecting much lower shelf stuff. It's pretty good here. Uh, lots of storage space for your stuff. There's chargers everywhere. You'll be able to charge your stuff everywhere uh, in here. Just your regulars. Plenty of hangers. Uh, again, if you're traveling uh, with your spouse and you want lots of hangers, stuff like that, your typical safe. Uh, that's where we put all of our important stuff, you know, like your passport, stuff you don't want to lose. Lots of space in here for both of your stuff. Ironing board if you need to do anything. There's actually a laundry service here. We didn't use it. I don't know if it was included or not. I can't really tell you guys that. I know if you have a butler service, it is. I don't know about uh, concierge service. Uh, bed is fine. There's nothing really to complain about. Although that bed frame, I hit my shin on it a bunch because it kind of sticks out a little bit. <laughs> but again, yes, plenty of uh, space for all your clothes and all of your uh, devices to charge and things like that. Plenty of lighting. It stays plenty cool in the room. I was concerned about that little opening vent in the bathroom making it hot in the room, but uh, this is the main attraction here. This is why we got this room. And what's really cool about it is you have like three different layers to close here if you want to for privacy. You have your main one, you have just like a, a kind of a lace one. And the thing is when you're out in that thing, unless you're really trying to look in that room, the windows are tinted enough that where you really can't see in there, but you want to maybe want to be careful if you're changing and you've got all those uh, open there. Uh, they keep you with plenty of towels. What's amazing about these seats right here is you can sit in them soaking wet and 10 minutes are dry. It's so crazy. This is awesome, this tub. We both fit in it and it gets hot water almost instantly and it fills up the tub in like three minutes. So you're, you, you want to use that. It is, it is very relaxing. Got a, a massager and all that stuff there. It's really, really nice. Really nice. And uh, you do have to be a little careful though. It, is a little, it can get a little slippery out here. But obviously, you know this. And there's the uh, the third layer in case you want to have privacy on the patio and still be outside. But here's where we spent the majority of our time. Yes, I'm already having some uh, some breakfast drink there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, we just kind of sat in these things, feet in the water, and kind of read our books and just relaxed. I mean, that's why we came here was just to relax. And it was so quiet for most of the trip. Like I said, outside of the airplanes, you could sit out here for hours. You could probably fall asleep rather easily, but uh, you be careful. Don't want to drop your phone or your Kindle in there if you don't have like a protective case or a cover or something like that. But again, guys, it felt so good to just unplug and just get in this water. And I'm still amazed. When it did rain, we did get a little bit of uh, cold water because the rain is very cold here. And immediately they come out with this machine that warms the water up. It really, I just don't know what else to say. That is, makes this room absolutely worth every penny that we overpaid for it. Because yes, it is much more expensive than your standard rooms, but oh my God, we will never ever stay at a sandals without getting the swim up room again. It is absolutely just everything that we wanted and more. I just can't say enough about it. Now here I'm gonna to try to cross and not drop my phone in the water. <laughs> <laughs> because like I said, I didn't bring any professional equipment with me or anything. So I just kind of, uh, let's just hang on to it tight. That's why I got my finger on the camera here. So sorry about that. But uh, yeah, it's uh, about four feet deep. So you can get across it. There's uh, it's always there's always keeping it clean. Uh, they're always keeping the, the bugs and the, the, the flower petals and stuff out of the water. It's, it's, it's really nice. Salt water, so you don't feel any of that. And like I said, people want to know how fast you get to the beach from this room. So look, I just went across there. You go across this, this bridge right here and there's your pool and your boom you're at the beach there's the piano bar right there they're doing piano they're doing karaoke all kinds of stuff but again you can't even hear from there you can't even hear it over to our room it's, it's it's just done so well it's balanced so well but uh yeah the key thing there is if you want to go get a drink it's not oh man i don't want to go walk all the way to the bar it's really close and it's just wild that you can't hear it you know but yes look guys i mean literally 60 seconds you can be from that pool to the beach if you want to and say you didn't want to go to the piano bar, say you want to go to a different bar right there at Latitudes. This is one of my favorite places to visit. Oh, they have the nice little hammock right there that's just outside of the water. And then you go out here on this, and it's really cool at nighttime. This is all lit up really, really nice. But uh, Latitudes over the water is just, it's a, it's a really cool place. Uh, the bartenders were always super friendly. Lots and lots of seating space. 
that's always key out here but they have those fire pits lit up at night but man it's just this is where you want to come when the sun is up and everything just looks like diamonds on the water it's just breathtaking it's one of those things that I, I i'm going to show you here but i really feel like until you see it in person you just don't really know they have these awesome little i want to call them hammocks we're almost like trampolines over the water but you know more like nets than trampolines or they have a little bit of give but uh, yeah if you just want to lay over the water you don't want to actually get in the water uh it's it's a really really nice thing relaxing we did that uh, numerous times just kind of chilled out in one of those you see lots of people just kind of hanging out in those but here's where you just get a really good view of the long beach here in montego bay which is obviously its main attraction just it's magnificent to look at guys i mean it's just you will just stand there just doing nothing just staring at it and you can't get enough of it i really i cannot say enough how beautiful the water is here i mean that's obviously why people come here to see beautiful beautiful water like this but it uh, again until you see it with your own naked eye you, just, you can't understand how special this really is it's just you're not catching the full glory of this on, on an iphone you know it's just absolutely stunning and it's warm it's it's just I don't know. I don't know what else to say, guys. You just you got to try it for yourself. Take my word for it. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take a little walk out here onto this thing. You can get uh, married here. They have an actual chapel down at the end if you want to have like a traditional wedding. But they also have these little things right here. Now we originally had planned to renew our vows while we were here, and then that trip got delayed about a year, and we just uh, decided not to not not to go ahead and do that. So we just came out here, as you can see, on this little. Uh, what do you call this thing here? This little... <laughs> There's a word for it. Anyway, and we just said, I do. Uh, then you go back to the pool or your room here. And like I said, this is where we spent most of our time. Sitting in this chair right here. This is it. This is what it's all about. So relaxing. I think I read, like I said, about two and a half books right here. And just, yeah, it's, uh, it's a great, great time. Now I'm going to show you a little bit more. This is going from our room to show you uh, how long it takes to get to... The, all the attractions here. Uh, I just want to kind of show you the landscapes a little bit. Again, there's the fitness center. If you're one of those people who want to come here and eat healthy. Now, guys, you can. You can come here and eat healthy. They have healthy eating options. They have uh, virgin drinks, all that stuff. You can behave while you're here. It's, it's, we just came here and we said we're not going to do that. Uh, half the reason we came here was to eat the fine dining, you know, because we, we usually keto. And uh, this trip, we did not. And we had so many carb hangovers that... Uh, yeah, it made us very, very sleepy, but uh, it was worth it. It really, really was. Now, you're coming up this way. Again, like I said, they usually keep this uh, very clean. Actually, there's a croquet area if you want to get into croquet. But uh, this, like I said, this was after a storm. But here right there is a... Well, there's a little shortcut to the beach, obviously. But over here, you got the Red Lane Spa. Now, Red Lane Spa is extra. You do have to pay for that if you want. Uh, I felt so bloated and fat on this trip that I didn't want anybody massaging me at all. Another little shortcut to the beach. They have this everywhere. There's a little shortcut to the beaches so you don't ever have to feel like you got to walk a ways to get to the beach. This is the sushi place Soy which completely knocked my socks off. I did not expect to like that that much because I'm not a huge sushi guy but good lord it was so good and they make really good drinks at the bar right there. Uh, it was like a, I think it was called like a sake cruise cocktail. Fantastic. I recommend you get one. Everyone's super nice. Everyone the passenger says good morning, and I love that. <laughs> As I, I think about it, the office place, and you say good morning, and no one says anything back because they're like, oh, I'm at work. Uh, beautiful water wall. Here's like the, the mascot. Uh, my wife kept trying to make him talk the whole time we were there, and I was like, I don't think he does it. So we just stood there and watched him eat. Uh, there's Butch's Steakhouse. Fantastic. Uh, named after the original founder of Sandals. And these are all your different uh, rooms you can choose from here. There's uh, all kinds. There's different prices, levels, obviously. There's different if you want the, like I said, the standard or the club or the butler. There's lots and lots of choices here. And it really just depends on how you want to spend your vacation. This is really kind of a entertainment area. They have pool, they have ping pong. They have, like I said, they have chess, things like that. Uh, it's all covered. So if you, uh, it is raining. You have like a little refuge there from the storm. But uh, this main pool, we didn't even get in it uh, because, like I said, we got that swim-up room. Uh, we didn't feel like we needed to get in any other pools, really. But they do sometimes do their scuba training there. 
so that there, there's something. It's always done in like hours to where you're not, if you want to just come there and swim, you're never going to be like, oh, well, I can't get in that pool because they're doing scuba training. They they really are smart about these times here. And uh, yeah, it's just a lot of people come out early and they get these cabanas over here because they didn't be smart and get swim rooms. And they'll just kind of like just fall asleep on them and kind of hang out all day. Here is Cafe de Piri. We went here every day, guys, because not all these fresh uh, baked items here. My wife fell in love with the macaroons. I wanted every one of these coffee drinks, and I got every single one of them over there. The Jamaican coffee was amazing, as was the Irish coffee. But I mean, who, who doesn't like Bailey's and, and coffee? I mean, that's kind of a that's like peanut butter and jelly here. Uh, take one of these little shortcuts over here to the beach. Uh, these are the beachfront swim up rooms, and they are a little more. These actually no, these are the I'm sorry, these are the Butler swim up rooms. These are just where you do not have beach, you have just ocean in, in to your room. So if you want to cut out all the beach, it's really quiet over here. It is really peaceful. You're really paying for that silence, and, and we understand that. Like I said, we didn't we didn't want Butler service, but uh, you know those people who do, this is going to be money. This is going to be exactly what you're looking for because it was so so quiet. You could just go out here and sit in porch and just listen to the waves hitting the wall. It sounds so nice. It is so peaceful. I definitely think that uh, it's probably very much worth the money. And over here by us, this was a private hot tub area. And the thing that's funny about this is it was always almost empty because I think people thought you had to have like a reservation or they thought that people wanted like privacy because anytime there was like two people in there, no one else would go in. It was kind of funny. But uh, yeah, very nice hot tub. You want a little bit of seclusion. If it's storm or something like that, you have shelter from the rain. And here's the thing, guys. When the sun goes down, the island is every bit as pretty as it is when it's lit up. I mean, you have the most amazing sunsets here over the water like we just got to a point where we were just watching the sunsets every night because they were so gorgeous that let's go back to the room here so i do want to show you guys a little bit about what things look like at night because like i said at night the resort is every bit as beautiful as it is during the day and again i don't want to drop my phone in the water here <laughs> so we spent probably more time swimming at night than we did during the day because well one we're both super irish and so we're very very pale and we burn very very easily but uh yeah the water is nice and warm and it's just lit up so beautifully at night and you can see the stars and they have such cool lighting on the buildings and everything but yeah being able to we live in houston guys we have so much light pollution to see stars so we were really just like stargazing this trip uh my wife was just looking for the dippers and stuff and found them it's just it's a really really just calm and peaceful time I, I can't state how important that is to you then you're going to be very very happy because it is very uh, after the airport closes it is very very quiet and peaceful except for the frogs we'll talk about the frogs in a little bit here but yeah again you can't get enough of just looking at how well everything is lit up here especially at night they got the fire pits on now sometimes it's gonna be a little too humid you're not gonna be wanting to sit by a fire pit but you know the weather is mostly gorgeous here and you're always gonna just want to kind of sit and chill and uh just just sit by the fire you know with your sweetheart if that's your thing or if you're just there you know with just some friends or whatever it's a good place to just kind of hang out and talk and yeah everything at night lit up is very very different but still so so cool they use this this luminescent lighting on everything and everything just almost looks like a, something out of a 1980s synth novel or something <laughs> i love it i love the, the way that everything kind of glows and uh i i'm still amazed at how well they kind of control the mosquitoes here uh, I, I know they do they do, do a little bit of a uh, maintenance on that in the mornings but uh, it lasts pretty well because i mean i was walking around here at night and shorts and a tank top and i wasn't getting eaten very much at all so can't say enough about that I, I i love these things that they do with here it's just i mean just look at it it's awesome and they do have party nights on the beach you know they got like a little bazaar that they set up this is the same stretch i was just showing you but this is on one of the party nights uh you're having drinks served out of coconuts and things like that they have dancing they have beach bingo all that kind of corny stuff that you'd expect a resort but it's so much fun guys i mean just go for it you came here to have fun go for it be silly be a goofball you're going to love it very pretty very pretty place isn't it well i'm sure now you guys might want to know a little bit about the food right because if there is one attraction there besides that gorgeous beach in jamaica it is the food on the sandals resort it is top level stuff guys i got to let you know about some of this 
I'm just going to kind of show you some of the pictures now because we had so much food there. It was insane how much food we had there. Now, before we start, I want to talk about the views here because the views at some of these restaurants are breathtaking. This was the first night there was that sunset. Uh, this is a place in World Caribbean where you can cruise over and have some Thai food on a dragon boat. Uh, here, uh, this is just Bayside. This is what we kind of saw every morning while we ate breakfast. And so it's again, more nice views over on Latitudes. This is always the view anytime you are there. So if you want the ocean, that is it. This is from Stewfish. Again, you're just about 10 feet away from the ocean. Uh, more from Stew Fish. We actually did later in the evening, so there wasn't very many people in front of us there to get a good view of the ocean. But again, more from Stew Fish. Obviously, that is the prime attraction at Stew Fish is that you're eating so close to the water. Uh, but you guys want to hear about the booze, right? There is plenty of it. So we're going to talk about the liquor now. Uh, you're not going to go far on this resort and look for liquor. There's always gonna be a place where you can find some. If you don't drink alcohol, but you still want the tasty drinks, they do make them virgin if you ask for them. But there are numerous, numerous, numerous types of frozen drinks, cocktails, beer, mixed drinks, whatever you want, you're going to be able to find something. Me, I just like to try something different every time I'm there, uh, but not with the beer. Uh, basically, anytime I had anything spicy, I wanted the beer. This was at Bombay. They have some Taj Mahal lager beer. This is in the brooms here, so you can make you some screwdrivers in the morning if you're feeling that way. In that jerk chicken sauce gets a little hot. You get two beers. You guys, you see where this is going. There's always booze available if that is what you're there for me this is the first time i've been without my kids in like six years so yeah i wanted to let loose a little bit as my wife she found those amaretto lemon sours and she did not stop drinking them the rest of the time but yes uh anything that you want guys you're going to find it and uh, if you want to just kind of stick to your room too they have plenty of mixed drinks from your room that you can make something and chill by the pool side if you're lucky enough to get a swim up room but again, I told you guys about the, this was the first night there. Uh, these cats, they have these cats everywhere and never evasive. They're never really bothering you, but you know, they'll chill by you. This one just sat right by me and just, and just cleaned himself the whole time. That was the first night there. But over by Jerk Shack, this one cat just jumped in my wife's lap because she was inviting and it just kind of made her day because you know she misses her cat that that actually uh, we lost a few years back but uh here's soy dude the the uh, the, the soy uh, the sushi at soy is just amazing the shrimp tempura appetizer will knock your socks off the crunchy anything there the crispy anything there just next the best sushi i have ever had guys uh same with the jerk chicken shack the pork and sausage like i said good but the chicken is amazing guys it just falls right off the bone and i know a lot of places say that and they don't mean it this is stew fish again you hear me keep talking about that view the view was better the food the food wasn't bad i mean look you got a steak you got shrimp you got vodka you got what you need there uh this is a cafe de paris which they refresh this stuff every couple of hours this place is open all day all day, 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. You can always get uh, alcoholic coffee or just uh, just booze or just uh, pastries. This is from uh, Bombay over in Royal Caribbean. This was our favorite place here. Uh, I never really had real Indian food and I loved it. This was our favorite place here. Uh, Bayside actually is open for lunch as well as breakfast, but for lunch, their serving sizes were super tiny because it's super fancy, but we loved their desserts. Their desserts were so incredible. So we just kind of kept going there after our regular lunch and just ordering dessert. So, I mean, look at these things. Not a single dessert that you got there were bad. I mean, we just wanted to try everything and they will bring you anything that you want. That's what makes sandals so incredible is because uh, you're never going to judge when you say, hey, can I have two of those? This is Butch's, which you had to have a reservation for. Uh, the steak and shrimp surf and turf. Uh, some of the best baked mac and cheese I've ever had. It was just stupendous. And they don't slouch on those desserts either. There you see with that creme brulee with the marshmallows in it. This is over at Bayside. I heard people complain about uh, buffet food. It's not the kind of buffet food that you think, guys. I mean, they have ready-to-make omelets. They'll make French toast. It's like stuffed with apple pie and stuff. Uh, obviously, your omelets. Good. Every morning, that place is amazing. This is over at Oleander. The lamb chop was just something else. Just next level, like I said. And again, their char grilled steak is not a slouch whatsoever. But at, at Cucina Romana, you can actually get breakfast or dinner there. And we did both. A really good view there. Like I said, they always are having mimosas ready to go for you in the morning and coffee, if that is your thing. But the dinner there was very, very special. 
uh, the pork belly was an amazing, amazing appetizer. But then, I mean, the lasagna, you guys. Oh, my Lord. It's their signature dish for a reason. It was some of the best lasagna I have ever had. And there, guys, is the reason why the day I got back, the clothes were, work clothes were feeling a little tight. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, we did not behave very much while we were there. But you know what? Hey, we had a great time. No regrets on that. Now, let's go ahead and, guys, close this down like I do with a book review here. And let's talk about what makes sandals montego bay good or bad now the good guys damn near everything with something like this you're seriously going to be nitpicking to find anything bad about it this is truly paradise everywhere you look everything looks like a postcard it is absolutely beautiful if you've never seen look guys we live about 40 miles from galveston texas the water don't look like that here okay we got that dirty golf water that you can't see you can stick your foot in it and your leg disappears here you can see as far as your eye can see and it's just clear water it's beautiful it's absolutely amazing and uh, a lot of the video there like i said uh it, i took it early in the morning before the sun was really up when that sun is right over the water in the middle of the day it is absolutely amazing exactly what you would see in like a movie or a video game or something it is just every bit as beautiful as you can imagine uh i love that it is an all-inclusive that is actually all-inclusive that's the big one that i get the big question i get guys we take like carnival cruises or you know and you take any kind of uh, all-inclusive uh, a cruise and you get there and you realize yeah, there is stuff that's all-inclusive, but it isn't all-inclusive. Just about damn near everything you go to is like, okay, this costs this, this extra here and here. And you go to check out, like, oh, okay, yeah, you have like a balance of $640. I'm like, what the fuck? I thought this was all-inclusive, right? Uh, yeah, it, it, with this, it is all-inclusive, everything. About the only thing here that is not included, they let you know up front, and they're never pushing it on you. They let you know up front, if you want like a super in-depth body massage at the Red Lane Spa, yeah, it's extra. They're very upfront about how much it costs. If you want like a private candlelit dinner out on one of their canopies over the ocean, yeah, it costs extra. Again, they let you know up front. About the only thing I felt like they ever pushed there was, uh, they were a lot of the time they were pushing their manager's wine list because the manager's wine, the house wine is included, guys. Just ask for the house wine and they'll just give you the standard white or red and you'll be fine. If you want like really specific wine, yeah, it is extra and they do uh, charge it straight to your room. Same with the gift shop. Obviously, that's going to be extra. Everything else, guys, all the liquor, all the food, it is all included. Room service, no matter what you want, it has been paid for. They do not let you tip the employees there. That's why it is a little more pricey, which I'll talk about in a minute. They charge you a price up front where they feel comfortable in saying, no matter how much you guys eat, no matter how much entertainment you soak up, you're not going to spend this much. I, I, I argue that we did. <laughs> but again, uh, it uh, it is all inclusive, guys. Like you want to do like the, the training for like the scuba diving, stuff like that. I think that's extra. I don't know. I don't like getting in the ocean, really. Uh, so uh, we, 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 I wasn't worried about that. Uh, they offer snorkeling for free. I think they do snorkeling lessons for free. But there are excursions off of the island. So if you want to go off the island, you can. But the best thing for me is this is a private resort. Unless you are a guest or an employee, you are not allowed on the grounds. They have a Coast Guard patrolling the area. They have security at their walls. They do not let anyone in this island that is, or sorry, this resort that is not allowed inside it is extremely private so you don't have to worry about being harassed you might have heard hey if you go to jamaica you can watch you have street vendors trying to sell you stuff you're gonna have guys chasing you down trying to sell you stuff it's not like that inside here now if you go outside those walls sure it'll probably happen to you i don't know we went there because we wanted to relax we wanted to get away we wanted some quiet and we got it we didn't leave the resort it had everything that you wanted there i don't know why you would want to leave the resort if you want that full jamaican experience yeah maybe you want to leave the resort maybe you want to go do some like white rotter rapid somewhere or climb some mountain we were fine doing what we wanted to do and if you want to be private you very much can no one will bother you while you're there that's the great thing about it if you want help you ask for it and it comes immediately but if you want to be left alone, they are 100% fine with you wanting seclusion and wanting to be left alone. The service, guys, it is top level. Now, again, like I said, my wife and I, we both grew up pretty poor. I mean, if we're being honest here. So we are used to doing things for ourselves. When you go here, <laughs> something as simple as, oh, I'm going to get up and get me a straw 
And they're like, no, 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 sir, man, please let me do that for you. I mean, they they very much want to treat you like royalty there. They cannot get enough joy out of helping you. At least, you know, I mean, it's their job. That's their job. So, I mean, obviously, uh, who likes doing that is their job. And I'm just saying they do their job well there. They want to take care of you, and they do. And I, I, I don't understand how anyone could go here and be in a bad mood because the views are amazing. The service is top-notch. I mean, like, one time we had to wait a little while for our food. But again, we were staring at a beautiful beach and having drinks and talking to each other with no kids around. It was amazing, guys. It was amazing. So I, there's no problems with any of the service here. Anything that you want, anything that they will fix it immediately if anything is wrong. There's never going to be a problem with the service here. It is top notch all the way from uh, you know the fine dining to uh, the, the guys who help you at the piano. You actually want to talk about the guys at the piano bar, uh, Andrew and oh my God, what was his name? Shannon, Andrew and Shannon, these two guys were amazing. I did some bartending in college, and I think the most that I could ever do was get about five drinks in my head to make at the same time. These guys were taking orders from the piano bar and the swim-up pool bar at the same time, like 15 orders at a time. Never was anybody waiting too long for a drink, and never was a drink wrong. Those guys are incredible. They should be pros, but I guess that's pretty much what it is. It was like full-on like Jamaican cocktail, the movie here. It was amazing. Those guys are fantastic, and... Um, Anyway, you want your drink, guys. They have a menu. They have a menu, obviously, of drinks that they serve, frozen drinks, uh, cocktails, um, all that stuff. But here's the thing. If you ask them to make something and they know how to make it, they're going to make it. They have no problems making you anything. And it's not all bottom shelf liquor. I know a lot of people are always concerned that it's bottom shelf liquor. No, it is very much top shelf liquor. Like I had some Johnny Walker Red one night. So, guys, they have very, very good liquor there if that is something that you are concerned with. Now, however, if you're a beer drinker, I do want to bring this up. You better learn to like Red Stripe because that is the beer of Jamaica and that is what they have on tap. Now, if you ask for something special, I don't know. You might get it. Uh, I was fine with Red Stripe. I had no problem. Not a beer snob. I wanted to soak up that Jamaican lifestyle while I was there. So I said, sure, I'll have the Red Stripe. But uh, we were mostly drinking liquor most of the time. So <laughs> wasn't too much beer drinking there. But again, that obviously, that is up to you. Uh, what you kind of just heard me say there is that there are no kids allowed. Yes. Now, when we went in 2010 it or 2011, it was couples only. The resort was couples only. They have since moved on to adults only. So you got to be 18 and up. Now, something I liked about that, like I said, was you never had a bunch of, you know, frat boys in the pool trying to, you know, sleep with every woman that came to the pool. That's what we really liked about it. It was quiet. You know, there was no kids. Now, uh, we didn't have any of that. We didn't have any frat boys. We didn't have any woo girls, anything like that. We didn't have anything while we were there. It's mostly couples. It really still is. It's a very romantic getaway. It isn't really the place that people go just to party. I mean, you can. You can. But here's the deal. I can't promise if you go there that next year you're not going to be having like a 10th anniversary of their frat, their fraternity or something. I can't promise that's not going to happen. But it didn't happen to us. So we didn't have that problem. So as far as we know, it's still fine. But again, uh, look, I have two young kids. The last thing I want to hear is kids when I go on a trip like this, and I will pay extra for that. You know, and, and that's something that they're still sticking to. Now, Sandals does do uh, what is called beaches. That is for families, and you are allowed to bring kids to that. They have those on the island as well. But we did Sandals obviously because we wanted to have no children. Anyway, uh, if you want activities, guys, are available. They're available. But if you don't, like I said, it's cool. We sat basically in our lounge chairs in our swimming pool and read books. I read about three books while I was there. I read a book on the ocean, or right the canopy right in front of the ocean, which was a great one morning. Watch the sun come up over the water. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, there's free Wi-Fi if you want to do that. To me, there was like so much to do there, uh, so much to look at. The last thing I want to do was look at my phone because in front of me, again, absolutely stunning visuals. Uh, you do have access to the Royal Caribbean resort there while you are in Sandals Montego Bay. It's a, a shuttle. It's like a three-minute drive, a shuttle that goes between the resorts. Uh, Royal Caribbean is much, much smaller than Montego Bay. Uh, here's the thing. Montego Bay had a big makeover. That is the very first Sandals, in case you don't know. That was the very first Sandals. 2017, I believe, they did a complete shutdown and rebuilt just about everything. So it looks brand new. Uh, when you went to Royal Caribbean, you noticed. It, it did look run down. It felt lesser. It really did. But it had different restaurants. And we went to the the, the, the Bombay Indian food place. And that was my favorite, favorite place we ate at in the entire trip. So uh, there are things worth going there. But it really is one day. You can go over there and do all that stuff and be fine. Uh, on Montego Bay, you're going to want to spend most of your time there, I believe. Uh, it just It's bigger. It has the long walking beaches. You can go down where Montego Bay is just a little square. It really, or not my two, but um, Royal Caribbean is just a little square that you can kind of 
of just chill out then. But they did have like a dancing and a stage show and stuff there that we didn't have in Montego Bay. So yeah, it's worth going there at least one day, I think. Uh, pirates that shall not be named. I do want to mention this, guys. The restrictions on the resort. Basically, anytime you go into a restaurant, they will ask you to sanitize your hands. That's it. They do not require face coverings on the island. The staff all wear them. Guests are told you can wear them if you would like to, but we are not enforcing anyone to wear masks. And let me tell you guys, no one wore masks on the island. So if you are worried about that, because guys, it's very hot there. So <laughs> if you don't want to have a really big piece of cotton stuck across your face, you're worried about that. If that's something that bothers you. You don't have to do that. But like I said, the staff all wears the mask. So you, you feel safe with that. I think you did. Now, are there any bad things, guys? I mean, I guess if I got a nitpick here, there are a couple of things. It has times where it is not the quietest place. I'm going to be honest with you. It does have some times where it's a little loud. And there's two reasons. Uh, one, like I said, you might have some rowdy neighbors. We did have that swim up pool and there was a wedding there that one night and they had the reception off by the lawn. It was a little loud, but again, it was during regular hours, but some of those guests did get a little rowdy. And uh, again, people were having a good time. I'm not gonna be mad about them on vacation, but it was only one time where it was really, really late where it happened. But other than that, you know, hey, you can't have complete silence on a, a resort that has, you know, a few hundred people on it, I, I guess. But the second reason is, guys, the uh, the airport, remember where I said it was a five-minute drive? You can hear those planes. You can hear those planes taking off, and they are loud. They are loud. Now, look, this happens 10 to 12 times a day. Uh, it's, it's nothing that you will ever be like, oh, my God, this is so bad. I'm miserable. But you are eating and day drinking a lot. So if you want to take, like, that afternoon nap, it's not going to happen unless you bring earplugs because those airplanes sound like they're flying into your room when you're at the level that we were at. So, uh, yeah, that, that is something I don't want to gloss over. You can hear those planes. I think it's something that you grow to get used to. Oh, also the tree frogs. Oh, Jesus Christ, the tree frogs. Don't get camera shy on me. man that was tough the first couple of nights after that for me it almost became like white noise and it kind of helped me sleep but it sounds like really aggressive crickets it really it really does the tree frogs are something else they are loud you cannot ignore them i will just say you will get used to them you will get used to them but the first night it may catch you off guard be like why well, i can't believe anybody doesn't mention it because we got we couldn't believe it i was like i can't believe none of the reviews mentioned these damn frogs but they are loud but again once you're in your room I feel like we brought a white noise machine with it. We brought earplugs just in case. Uh, but I, the first night, yeah, I, I'd used the earplugs. After that, we had a white noise machine. That with the crickets, it was fine. Well, I didn't have any problems sleeping. Again, like I said, you're drinking a lot. You're probably going to go to sleep really early. Uh, the humidity and the mosquitoes, guys, yes. You are on an island in the middle of the ocean. There's going to be humidity and lots of it. We're from Houston. We were kind of used to it, so it didn't bother us very much. But if you are from a cooler climate place, yeah, the humidity is going to be like, oh my God, what have I done? Uh, it's going to take some getting used to. All the restaurants are air conditioned, so you're fine. Except the ones that are obviously outdoor, like Jerk Shack's Outdoor, Mariner, Dino's. All those places are outdoor, Stew Fish. But uh, a lot of them, they will give you the option of indoor seating or outdoor seating. So uh, again, if you need a break from it, you need some air. There were some days where we were like, all right, I just want to sit inside. I don't care which restaurant we go to. I just want to sit inside. Uh, yeah, and, and mosquitoes, just uh, bring you bring you some uh, some off or some kind of bug, bug repellent or something like that. You'll be fine. They do do like bombing and stuff early in the mornings before anybody's awake to try to control that. And I feel like it's controlled very, very well because I do feel like we had them worse when we were in the Bahamas than here. But yeah, there was that that one day when I was, we were over at Royal Caribbean at that Indian place and we were sitting outdoors and I was I was getting eaten up. So, but that was right on, you know, a st area of water that was very still sitting. So it's going to happen. You're going to have to accept that that's going to happen. And lastly, guys, the price. Um, look, here's what I'm going to say about the price. It is worth every freaking penny. And if I'm being honest, if it costs a little more, we would still do it. Uh, it's very much worth it, but it is expensive. Because like I said, you are paying up front for everything. You're paying for all this fine dining. You are paying for all these beautiful sites. You are paying for these incredible rooms that they give you and this top-notch service. So yes, it is very expensive. Don't want to get full disclosure here, but this trip cost us about all expenses, airfare and everything included, about $10,000 for the two of us. But again, that was for seven days and it was every bit worth it. It really, really was. So 
Uh, I'm not going to sugarcoat it here and tell you that there's a chip that this is a trip to every because like I think cruises everyone can do that you know it's maybe seven eight hundred to a thousand dollars a person to take a cruise I feel like any you know family can save up a little bit and go on that this uh, yeah this is going to cost you some money so uh, that's why we've only done it twice and we've been together you know <laughs> uh, God what 17 years now so yeah it uh, there, there's a reason why uh, we've only gone twice and we're talking about going uh, <clears throat> every five or 10 years really, because it, it is pricey. But again, I can't stress enough that it is worth it. But again, you're gonna need to save up your nickels and dimes for a while or whatever currency it is that you use. Now guys, I have a couple of final thoughts here. This is an absolute dream vacation for couples. It is romantic, it is relaxing, it is atmospheric, it is all those things you want it to be. It is going to be something that you remember forever. So unless you guys had a much better life than I had, like I, I did kind of say, you know, we, we both kind of grew up below the poverty line a little bit. So we were really, like, there's a couple of times when I'm there, like me and my wife have done fine. We've done fine. We've provided very, very well for our kids. Basically, our goal was to give them both a better childhood than we ever have. And I think we've achieved that. But on this trip, there are several times where we're just standing there, just like looking at this beach, uh, having fine dining, you know, a glass of wine in your hand. And I'm just like, I never thought I would be able to do, like in my childhood, I would have never imagined I would get to see something like this. So it makes those dreams come true for people. And I know that might sound like hyperbole for some, but no, it's amazing, guys. It really is. It's a perfect place to recharge your batteries. I was basically on the verge of exhaustion before this trip. And I feel absolutely rejuvenated after seven days of being pampered and treated like a king. The swim up rooms are absolutely worth the extra money, guys. I will never stay at another sandals without getting that swim up room. It is perfect. I already miss it. It is just wonderful. I cannot believe that they heat that water for you. <laughs> that is the most amazing thing. But guys, we love sandals and we love everything that they try to do for their guests. Uh, and again, unless you grew up with a much better life than me, there's no way that you're gonna be disappointed with this trip. Worth all the money. If you can afford it, do it now. Go, it is absolutely gorgeous. We cannot wait to go back for our 15th wedding anniversary. We are talking about doing Barbados, but we will see lots of time to research before then and they are opening up more uh, resorts in Jamaica. And Jamaica, an absolutely beautiful place, man. So I would say, if you can go, go now. So thanks for watching, guys. Have you been to Sandals? Any Sandals? Have you been to Montego Bay? Drop in the comments and let me know. Are you thinking about going? If you've got any questions, please do not be scared to ask below. I would love to answer your questions because, guys, it's going to be a trip you do not regret. I'll talk to you there. <laughs>